In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an 80s style laser portrait photo using Photoshop. So this is the photo we are going to recreate today. You can see it's a portrait of a person, and then there's also a second portrait kind of cast into the sky and the upper right hand corner of the background. And then we have this laser graphic in between the two portraits. So I took two portraits of myself against a clean white background. So I have a picture of me looking forward at the camera against a light background, and then one kind of looking up at the corner. So these are the two photos we're going to use for this portrait today. So to get started, I'm going to open my main portrait up in Photoshop. And I actually want this to be kind of a portrait orientation. So I have set my crop width height ratio to 2400 pixels by 3000 pixels. I know I want my superimposed photo to be at the top right. So the next step is I need to remove the background behind me in this photo. So I'm going to use Photoshop's select tool, select subject. In this photo, we have a really clean background, so it knows that I'm the subject. So I'm going to, in my layers panel, hit mask. And so that easily removed the background. Next thing I'm going to do, I have a laser background and I'm going to drop this in behind me. You can download this laser background that I used in the tutorial. Find the link in the description below. So I'm just going to drag this into my file. I'm going to find which direction I like the best. I can make it like this one. It's got some lasers kind of going upright to the right. And then I'm going to move that laser behind my portrait. Now that I'm seeing myself against this black background, I'm going to lighten my portrait layer a little bit using the levels. I like this laser arrangement right now. I may want to adjust it once I get my second photo in there. So let's drag in the photo of me looking up into the sky. This feels a little small right now. I'm going to zoom out, actually change the opacity of this so I can kind of see my portrait while I'm increasing the size. I'm just going to look back at my reference photo really quick. So this background photo is really large. It's really zoomed way in. So I want to make sure the scale of this background photo feels a little bit like that. And then let's see if I can flip this. I might even turn this a little bit so I'm truly like looking up to the right corner of this image. Okay, obviously the transparency is a little weird here. Um, I'm going to remove it really quick. And then let's do our select subject again. So select subject, I want to remove the background. And I'm just gonna hit the masking tool in the layers panel. So this layer actually goes beneath my main portrait. So I'm going to move it down. And the background portrait, should have a much lower opacity, something like, I don't know, let's try like 45, 50%. The lasers are going right through my face, so I may play with the placement of this. I'm just gonna duplicate so I don't lose what I have now. Turn that layer off. Um, I will say now I have less lasers completely, like a lot of the lasers are being hidden now down here. No, multiply is not going to work. Let's turn on screen. Okay, that is essentially two lasers right on top of each other. So it's like doubling the amount of lasers you see. It's a little crazy, so I'm not sure if this is going to work. But I'm trying to find a couple more lasers to kind of keep put back in here. But I think it is helping just add a little more interest. I'm just gonna get in here and edit some of these photos a little bit. Let's go with this background image first. I'm just gonna select that layer and it's got 49% opacity. I might bring that just a hair down to, let's say 43. In my reference photo, let's pull that back up. There's really like a gradient, like this face kind of starts to drop off and you can't see it anymore, like this ear, you can't see it at all. So I'm going to erase just a little bit of my face back here and my hair using our mask.
And let's just zoom into this main portrait. If I were doing this for a client or something, I would definitely want to get in here and fix some of the mask around my hair. So I like to use kind of a 50% opacity brush and just kind of go along the hairline and get rid of any of these like floating hairs that are sticking out. This tool can also give kind of like a little halo look around anything that's cut out. So I like to go around and fix it with the masking. Let's just zoom back out and look at this photo. I think this achieves the look that I was going for. I'm now going to save this, save the Photoshop file so I can get back into it and edit it later. And also save a JPEG, so file, save a copy. So let's open the reference photo up next to my final product. And I think this looks pretty good. The only thing I might say is having a better photo of myself would be good. This looks like a professional studio photo, whereas I just went in my bathroom and took this photo. So the lighting is a little bit different, but it definitely achieves the same look. This was a fun tutorial to try out. So that's how you make an 80s laser style portrait using Photoshop. You can find a link to this laser background that I used in the tutorial and download it in the description below and follow Cry Studio for more graphic design and Photoshop tutorials. Thanks so much.